Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be reviewing Extremis Iron Man Marvel Legends Wave 1 Terrax Wave. I'm going to be re reviewing the non variant and the variant today just to keep things short and sweet. It's probably the figure I wanted most. I know it was in like, my top three, possibly my top two, but um, yeah, this figure was like a must get for me. I really wanted this figure since. It's the only extremist Iron Man that we get, and that's mostly the armor that he wears. So, it's really nice having a figure that comes out with it. See, we we will be getting this figure again in the Iron Man, um, the movie line wave, um, with a lighter yellow, which I kind of want that one a lot more than this one. But this is the one we got first, so hopefully later on Hasbro will make a, um Iron Patriot. Hopefully, maybe down the line, Hasbro will make an Iron Patriot out of this mold, and that would be freaking sweet. I think this is like a perfect mold to do it, so fingers crossed. Alright, so the articulation, his head goes up all the way, which is perfect. Like, I don't, th I think we have maybe like three Iron Mans that do that, and the other one, one of them's Hasbro, and one of them's Toy Biz, and now this one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, these armor plate things move so you can move the um, shoulders and whichever way you want um, they also are removable uh, so he has ball jointed shoulders double jointed elbows swivel wrist and the wrist um, points this one's an open palm and this one's a closed fist and it still has the same articulation uh, these discs move all around so you can move his leg and such without I'm getting in the way, which I think is a really nice um, detail that they added so that you can still get the articulation you need in there. Um, this, the thigh swivels, which I didn't think it did when I first seen this figure, and I like how it's like a hidden feature. Double jointed knees and the toe points as well, but I think that's as far as it goes. I don't really want to force it. Here's the back of the figure. He also has a very nice ab crunch. So you can get him into that perfect flying pose uh, with his arms out and everything, and he would look amazing. Like I have no problem with the stealth version. Like I usually when I pick up the figure to like fool around with and like pose, I usually pick up the stealth Iron Man. I don't know. Like there's things about this figure that I don't necessarily like so much. I don't like. How my, my camera's not gonna pick it up, but he has like a black line inside of his mouth, and it just I think that looks like I don't like it very much. Like, and in the stealth one, it doesn't have the black line, um, it's just cleanly painted on there, and the black line's kind of sloppy on there, and it kind of makes him look like he has a mustache. I think they're perfect size, honestly. Um, he's just a little shorter than Shield Agent, which I think it's supposed to be because I don't think Tony Stark is a real big buff tall man he's just a man with money and armor and that's basically it so here's some next to him face to face I think they look really nice together this Iron Man I love the Iron Man even though I said about the black line on his mouth it's just I think he is a very nice figure, and I can't wait for the Iron Man 2 wave to bring him out in more comic colors, more animated type colors. Um, so yeah, if you guys see him, I know he's the cheapest in the line. It's Extremist Iron Man, dude. You have to pick him up. So I would say don't, don't pass by him. I would get him. I think I would get this version more than the stealth one because the stealth one's not really like comic accurate. So, if you do see him, pick him up. You won't regret it. Trust me. Just give him a chance. Alright, see you guys.